my John, my keen audience is too smart. How in the world can I make all of you dumber? Oh, I know. Here's the view. What can better be done? And I know some of this is where he chooses to be, but then he needs to not do that. That's the view suggesting Trump not do whatever he wants. Now, he went to a golf course, unannounced went and played, and that's where this shooter got access to him. I am so saddened and disturbed by the fact that political violence is so normalized in this country. Uh, and this is where she starts to go off the rails. No, political violence is not normalized in this country. It's incredibly abnormal. It's incredibly rare. The side that is normalizing it might be the left, but even that's an extreme statement. And then I think we saw more of it, uh, especially with Nancy Pelosi's husband. Mm. And so it's on both sides of the aisle. It is not on both sides of the aisle. And the Nancy Pelosi's husband, it's unclear what his motivations were. These are mostly crazy people go, who are resorting to violence. They're mostly lunatics. A recent University of Chicago poll examined support for political um, violence in the United States. And there is more support for violence today against Trump and others. Against Trump, 10% of American adults think it's okay. Um, and 26 million American adults who support violence to prevent Trump from regaining the presidency. More than 30,000 of those own guns and almost 80% have access to internet organizational tools. That's despicable. You know what else is despicable? Uh, there's almost no Republican said it was okay to go to violence. This is a Democrat thing where to them it's acceptable. And I would argue this goes to their lower view of the sanctity of human life. That is all lives of others are more expendable than your own in their philosophy. That's my opinion on the subject. I'm John Mike Keen. Well, we have to what elevate our rhetoric. That's the problem is for like 10 years, there's been a normalizing of, oh, he didn't, oh. he or she didn't mean that, or they were just speaking that way. The way our politicians are speaking right now, it, it, we never would have seen that 20 years ago. Blonde hairdo here goes after speech, with which I think is just bizarre. There's a point where there's an out of bounds and, and there's no longer bounds at all. People will say and do anything. And it's not just on the national level, this trickle down, if, if we're seeing it in politicians, but somehow that's come all the way down. And a lot of that's due to technology and social media, the reach. Yeah. There's always hate speech. There's always been awful things said. But now the reach of that hate speech is great. No, the rhetoric has nothing to do with what you do. And if it's true, then the Democrats have to be indicted and thrown in prison because it's the Democrat rhetoric. I don't believe in blaming rhetoric, including uh, what Trump said on J6. He did not incite violence. I don't believe the left is inciting violence. I believe in blaming the individual who committed the violence and only blaming them. If you do it, you are responsible. Don't tell me what radio station you listen to. Don't tell me about your culture. Personal responsibility. There are countries, even in Europe, that have created like the council, the no hate speech movement. Yeah, and this is a really bad idea because we already know that the left will never be nailed for their hate speech. It'll only be the right. That's the only reason why people want to do these hate speech laws. They're always only 100% used to imprison right wingers, even while the left wingers go off and shoot up all these targets. So it scares me when I hear them say, remove liberty and free speech at the legal level. Which the one step before violence is that hate speech. Actually, it's not. These people did not have hate speech who went out and, sh and took uh, assassinated att assassination attempts. It did not start with speech. They just went out and performed violence. So even her statement that it starts with speech and then goes to violence is not True. Not true. And we have no regulation because we live in a country that I understand values the First Amendment. She actually seems to be mourning that we have First Amendment. By the way, if you want to be able, the reason why I love the First Amendment is she has the right to speak out even against guns or even against violence because you have a First Amendment right to speech and she's trying to take it away. But there's got to be a way that whether it's regulating social media, right, th that communities have to come together and, and change this. That's always code speech. And we already know they will only regulate one side and never the other. 
So we need to have that conversation in America. It needs to be bipartisan. And members of Congress need to realize that it is not just, you know, that when there's a crazy shooter out there, it's not just Democrats. Oops, that was an admission of guilt. She was, hey, if there's a crazy shooter, it's not just Democrats. Uh, by the way, it is so far just Democrats. <laughs> but And that's why she goes, hey, it's not just one side, even though it's been one side. And I know that you'll think it's one side. It's not one side. Guys, it's one side. It's, you know, it's everything. And we're all at risk. And this is a conversation. It's uncomfortable. We need but to have it. I know while it is only one side right now, it could very easily be a Republican that erupts in violence against a lefty. OK, so I'm not just given what we know of human nature. OK, mankind's nature is to act out in this way every once in a while. Maybe it's less about mental health and more about America's fascination with guns. And no, everyone's always been fascinated with guns. Look, I'm, a, I'm fascinated with tanks. Uh, and laser beams doesn't mean I'm going to go out and use one, Sonny. You guys are just desperately grasping at straws. We need some regulation on social media. That's the bottom line. They haven't done anything in 30 years. And right now our Congress can't pass anything. And the reach of those groups and how they link the algorithm to further dividing, further mm -hmm. hating, further violent rhetoric, full, that and is part of the process. Like Someone takes a shot at Trump and the view goes straight to regulating speech on social media. And I'm always gonna be here to provide this opportunity for as long as I'm allowed to speak on this platform, I'm John Mike Keene.